not only do we have the invention here in the Knock Knock studio, but also Jean-Pierre who came up all the way from Cape Town, who says he can heal all my aches and pains with the APS machine. Jean-Pierre, what does APS stand for? APS st stands for Action Potential Stimulation. And uh, it was invented by a, a guy called Gerd van Lebbe in the early 90s. And he was sitting in a doctor's surgery and was reading through a, a journal. And one of the articles he read was basically about the action potential um, waveform. He did more research about this and eventually he produced the machine. Now, how does it work? I've got, I'll tell you what happened, you see. I was climbing the mountain on the weekend. I came over the mountain and I came on my arm. There's nothing broken. It's just sore, very, very sore. And I believe that this APS can help you where I just came down heavily on the arm here. So, can you do it, doctor, doctor? <laughs> Let's, we can always fix it. First, we just clean the area. Mm. Let's make sure that the uh, adhesive electrodes make good contact with your skin. What's going to happen now when you put it on? What is the action of the machine? Basically, what the machine will do is it will send a current through the specific waveform current through the uh, affected area. And that tells your brain that there is a problem there. Because the inflamed area where you got your um, wound is basically an area of resistance. Mm. And the signal the body sends out to, basic, to repair it goes around it because the electricity flows in the least path of resistance. Jean-Pierre, what are these sticky pads you put on my arm here? They are the electrodes that conduct the signal from the machine onto your body. This is a conductive gel. Yeah. And the physical mesh on top is a conductive area, it's like a fine metal strand. So it conducts it from the machine to the whole area of the, of the electrode. Mm -hmm. So there's a greater surface area to be covered and this is one of the most important parts of the machine. Now this is something I do know about electricity. Electricity flows on the easiest path. When there's a constriction or resistance, it's like electricity in your home. If the wires are not correctly connected, it heats up. Hey, man, that stings. But anyway, it heats up. And then you get a lot of resistance and the electricity can't get through. So what happens here with that information I've got here, it's a bad area. And our bodies work with electricity. If I do this with my hand, it doesn't do it by itself. I'm thinking with my brain saying, now grip your fingers like that. And the signal goes all the way down my arm, all the way here into the nerve endings. And it tells the muscles, Pull together, am I right? right? And it grips like this, and it works by electricity. Now, with a damaged area, electricity is really backed in to get through. So, you say the stimulation, it stimulates that area, but it tells the, the brain basically, to fix it. The machine doesn't fix it. As due to the increased blood circulation, it will basically bring more of the neural hormones there quicker. So it turbo boosts it? Basically. That's okay, right. Saying. Well, that's the next step now. You and I connected two electrodes, a red one, and uh, a black one, and they connect it here to the machine here. That's and right. there's a battery in this machine, am I right? That's a 9 volt yeah. battery in here. And now you're going to tune it. Yes, basically you can turn it up now till you feel a light tingling sensation. Okay, so I turn it up here. Yeah, I, I can feel it now. I, can, I really can feel it. Okay, it's beginning to sting slightly here on this side now. So tell me what's happening from there to there across this area. Uh, electricity is a flow of electrons. Yeah. So the electrons are flowing through your, that area, affected right. area now, but in the, the signal form. That's and that, that's the signal form there that you got yeah, there. If you put it on a oscilloscope, that is yeah. what you will see. And when we talk about frequency, we also talk about wavelength, because the wave, the lower the frequency, the longer the wavelength. And everything in our body is energy. All our cells vibrate with its own frequencies and its own wavelength. What this machine is doing is trying to balance our bodies out. We start at uh, 0.46. Yeah, I think that 0.56 already. Yeah. What happens is as the body uh, starts to, as the signal yeah. progresses, the body, the, the signal goes through and the, the current goes up. It's in other words, uh, what you're saying is there's now less resistance. The resistance so is the current is flowing. That's, much right. That's amazing. Even on the machine, we can see that as the resistance decreases, and there was resistance here, already the current is flowing easier. Now, how is it accepted in the world? I mean, is this thing going places? It's available everywhere in the world. Great South African invention. That's it. Now, if you think of our bodies, how do the APS work? In our bodies, we've got water in our cells, and the water in our cells, the moisture, the actual moisture, vibrates at a specific frequency, and it varies from bone tissue to flesh to sinews and all these things. Everything's got a vibration. Well, all these machines, like the Rife Resonator, the APS, works on a system of synchronizing these vibrations in our cells. And for that, gotta get my guitar. 
Now, if you listen to a guitar, every string has got a different vibration. Of course, the higher the note, the shorter the wavelength, the higher the vibration. So what the APS does is the following. It synchronizes vibrations. I'm going to show you how you do it. If you want to tune a guitar, I take the E note there. And I detune my E string slightly. If I now pull both these strings, this is how that pulses. You hear that? It sounds terrible. So to synchronize it, I must tune up my E string. Woo, 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 woo. And as I tune it up, let's listen again. And that's about it. And they, in synchronicity, the two strings vibrate with the same vibration. Now I get a nice sound. Tuning banjos. That sounds good. Everything is all tuned up. And this is exactly what happens with the APS machines, is that they synchronize the cell's vibration, so it gets back to its normal state and our body sounds like during banjos. It's all about vibrating cells, finding synchronization and harmony. The body is music when it's in tune. After the break, maths! Pythagoras and ancient building techniques.